Hello again, I am Blunty. I am being recorded by no less than three microphones at the moment, uh, between which I will be switching throughout this video because I am testing this... Uh, no, I pointed the wrong one there. Idiot. This... Should we start? No, I'm going to leave it in. This is the ModMic Wireless. Uh, many of you may be familiar with this, which is tangled at the moment. This is the mod mic. This uh, a lot of people recommend uh, for people who want a higher quality microphone on their headset than headsets usually come with. This this is the headset mic. You're listening to it now. See how not good it sounds? Most gaming headset mics sound like this or even worse. There are some exceptions which sound quite good, which I've made videos about before, none of which sound better than these, which are the Sennheiser Game Ones, which I uh, used to use for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. Well, about five years. Uh, and they're brilliant. Love them. They still look basically like new and it's the best microphone you'll ever find on a gaming headset. And I used to use it for streaming and recording and things like that uh, quite often. But then I kind of got fed up with the, the cable. And that's the reason why I never use this on other headsets, because for a start, this is not as good as this. But this also didn't free me from the cable issue, which I finally got fed up with that. And then I switched to using a desktop mic, which I can gently bring into frame. This is also a Sennheiser. This is the Sennheiser uh, Hand Mic Digital, which I've also made reviews of. Uh, you'll find the videos in the down below area. It is an exquisite microphone and I love it quite a lot. And I use it both here at the desk and out in the world. Hit that microphone there. Both here at the desk and out in the world when I'm recording sort of, uh, you know, interviews and stuff on the floor. I used it at PAX Australia. You might have seen me using it there in the, in the videos and things because it connect, can connect to my iPhone. I can use it as a field recorder and things like that. But... When I'm here at the desk, I use it for streaming because it sounds like this, which is really, really quite nice. Uh, and that allowed me to switch to the wireless headset, which I'm wearing. These are the Astro A50s. Not the best headset you'll ever find. I mean, they sound good. They don't sound as good as these, where sort of audio quality goes and things like that. And certainly not for the microphone, which I've already demonstrated. Uh, but it does leave me cordless, which I really, really appreciate because... As you can see, the PC behind me there means uh, the cords have to go across my chest and sort of around behind me there and sort of underneath the wheels of my chair and everything. And it got really frustrating after a while. So yeah, switching to this and these, let me go wireless. Uh, but now this side, why do I keep turning to the wrong side? I become some sort of buffoon. I swear I'm not doing this deliberately. Or maybe I am for comedy value. I'm going to claim it. I'm doing it deliberately at comedy value. It's, it's wacky. It's Monty Python. This is the mod mic wireless. It is entirely new. It's not just them slapping a Bluetooth module under, under this thing. It is from the ground up brand new. It does use a similar dual purpose cardioid condenser microphone, meaning you can swap it between a cardioid mode, which sort of narrows down the frequency response, means it doesn't sound as good, but it doesn't pick up as much ambient noise. Or you can go into an omnidirectional mode if you have good control over your environment. You can make it nice and quiet. You're not worried about picking up background noise so much, but that will give you a broader frequency response and make it sound better. You are currently listening to it in the cardioid mode, so I'm going to switch it over to the omni mode now. And this is the microphone in omni mode. There is a little bit of noise coming through my closed window. There's a truck outside doing some loading and things like that. One of the curses of this particular street that I live on, unfortunately. But it's a good opportunity to test how much background noise the microphone picks up and what sort of a difference to the sound of my voice omnidirectional mode can make versus cardioid mode. I'm going to switch back to cardioid mode now because I prefer it because it picks up. Actually, I'll click the mouse a bit. Let me, let me, let me find a black spot on the desktop. I'll click the mouse. And hit some keys on the keyboard. And I'm going to switch back to, uh, there we go, switch back to cardioid mode now. And I'm doing this at the same click, same keyboard. Now you should be able to tell that cardioid mode picked up less of that background noise because it's sort of trying to little focus in a little bit tighter on the voice, but the voice doesn't sound quite as good. So which one you use is going to depend on what purpose you're using it for, of course. For in-game chat and stuff, use cardioid because Ultimate voice quality doesn't matter. If you're streaming, uh, I would recommend taking more care about your environment, maybe the tool is used, choose a quieter mouse, choose a quieter keyboard, use a controller, things like that, so you don't pick it up quite as aggressively on the microphone, or use some additional noise cancelling in your software and stuff like that. Now, this actually weighs slightly less than this does if you take into account the weight of the cable that comes with this thing. Uh, but because it's all in one spot, the clasp that they use, the magnetic clasp, and I'll pull it off nice and gentle here, boink, that thing, that's actually a stronger magnet. Ooh, you can feel it as it snapped in there to help make sure this thing holds in place. But it is compatible uh, with this, as I can show you here if I 
sort of snap this one on here. E and where is it? Ah, there it is. So you can use, you know, this the same connection that you had for this, uh, because the stronger magnet is on the, the microphone side, not the clasp side, just to be absolutely clear about that. So if you have been using one of these and you want to switch to one of these, you don't have to peel off your old thing and put it back on. And if you've got a few headsets or with the clasp on already, you can just slap this thing on and away you go. Easy peasy. It is wireless, so of course the issue of battery life comes into play, and they say it's got a 12-hour battery life. I haven't tested it for a full, complete, end-to-end -end 12 hours yet, but I have only charged it once since I started testing, um, and once before I started uh, recording this, of course, and it does seem to uh, last a good long time. To put that in context, these headphones I'm wearing, they're also about a 12 hour uh, battery life thing. And I've only run these dead flat on a couple of streams that I've gone extraordinarily long on. And yes, by the way, for those of you who are already typing because you haven't bothered to finish watching the video before asking a question about the content of the video, it can charge over USB. There's a little USB port right there, a little uh, USB micro uh, port, and it can charge and operate at the same time. Uh, that's one of the other reasons why the magnet on this thing is a bit stronger than what was on the old mod mics, because if you've got a cable there, that's extra drag on it, and you don't want to pop off your head while you're doing that. So you can charge it from a USB just goes to your computer, or if you're out and about in the world doing uh, some, some sort of wackadoo mobile uh, streaming or recording or whatnot, uh, you can charge it from one of the uh, USB battery packs. It comes with a USB receiver, which you can see back there. Am I pointing to it? Let me, there we go. That one there, the long one there. I'll give you a close-up so you can see it. And the, the range on it seems perfectly adequate. I haven't been able to walk out of range yet, although I do live in a tiny Sydney apartment. But uh, I don't think range will be a problem for most practical purposes that this thing will be purchased for. I nearly turned the wrong way again. It's on this side of my head. And it has one button operation. You tap and hold it briefly to turn it on and off. You tap it briefly for mute and you tap and hold it for longer if you need to repair it with the receiver for whatever reason. Now, as we've already established in the comparison between this and this, uh, it sounds far, far, far better than any wireless microphone headset you will find. Again, it still doesn't quite sound, sound quite as good as this and certainly not as good as this. Uh, but if what you need is a wireless microphone that moves with you, say you're doing a cooking stream or a PC build, actually a PC build stream is more appropriate for me. I've never done a cooking stream, although I want to. My kitchen's too small. It's very, very hard to film in there. But PC build streams are always quite difficult to mic up because I'm moving around and moving away. And using this thing at the desk is a bit tricky because I'm often turning away from the microphone to pick up some other gear or look for my tools or I have to stand up or sit down and sort of lean over things to, to get into the PC build. And that can leave me off mic sometimes. So I have taken to using uh, wireless mics on occasion and sacrificing my sound quality uh, just for the sake of convenience and ease so I don't have you know cables trailing behind me while I'm doing all that kind of stuff as well but I mean there is a lot of utility in a wireless microphone that sounds as good and can last for up to 12 hours on a single charge uh, if you're a, a streamer doing various kinds of things and and you know art streams and anything where you're you're not necessarily always on mic now about a focus but not necessarily always on mic at your desktop microphone or you don't want to be tied down with a uh, headset that has a good microphone on it so I was very excited when Mod Mike sort of wrote me an email a couple of weekends ago and said hey we got a new wireless thing coming out did you want to try one out and I went yeah I did and so I have been and I've been impressed with it to finish off this video I'm going to switch back into what they call their broadcast 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 quality mode which is the omnidirectional mode which uh I've never liked on the previous mod mics because it tended to pick up a lot of background noise. And this one tends to be a little bit better behaved when it comes to that. Uh, but I would still encourage people to use the cardioid mode, uh, in particular when using sort of voice chat and things like that in games. In particular, in particular, if using voice chat in games like that with things like voice operated transmission, not push to talk because... Uh, omnidirectional microphones that uh, are quite sensitive and pick up all kinds of background noise can transmit all kinds of noise into other people's games while they're just trying to be absorbed in, in the game. I'm looking at you, Fallout 76 players who don't realise the mic is on and open by default. Thanks for that, Bethesda. But the ground level thought on this thing is this. It is just the best wireless headset microphone I have ever tried. But thanks for watching. I am Blunty. And we'll catch you next time. Hopefully this has been helpful, useful, interesting or whatnot. But uh, yeah, next time I do a PC build or something like that where, you know, the, uh, the old 
desk mounted microphone is not the most convenient or uh, flexible solution, you will definitely absolutely see me wearing this because I'm going to keep hold of it. That uh, The dongle is going to stay plugged into the computer. Actually, I've just thought of another use for it as well. When I have been streaming games like Fallout 76 with voice chat in them, I've often run them on a secondary machine uh, because it's a pig of a thing and running that game, streaming that game from the same machine, even when it's a Threadripper, has, has been a bit of an issue sometimes. So the issue is I've, I've had to clamp another microphone onto this boom arm. Uh, you know, so I've got this one going to the stream. I've got another one clamped onto it with a magic. Where have I put it? Here it is. I had, I had another microphone literally, literally clamped onto this, this arm here and this microphone plugged into the other PC. So I could use the, the voice chat if I liked. And now I can do that by just, you know, using this to stream with as usual and plugging this, this microphone, why do I, <laughs> this microphone into the other PC and then have, have this do the voice chat for the game and this microphone do the high quality voice for the stream. I've only just scratched the surface of the mod mic wireless. So excited. Honestly, honestly, I am excited about this. This is, I've been waiting for exactly this product for ever, forever, it feels like. Ever since I started streaming in particular, uh, where I, I like to use a headset mounted mic, so I'm always consistently on mic. So I don't sort of, if I want to lean away from the microphone, I don't become off mic. Uh, but yeah, the, the, a good quality sounding microphone and being wireless, you know, those things for years have just been parallel lines or going in different directions even but now. But now, there we go. Am I drunk? But now the uh, uh, Antline have solved the issue with the mod mic wireless. So thank you for that. And thank you for sending me one to check out. Thanks for watching. I'm Blunty. I'll catch you next time.